Hey guys, it's Sam and Aaron with Michelson Yachts. We're here on this beautiful Michelson 50 Generation 2. We're gonna give you the final walkthrough of it. It's all cherried out now. The owners are about to take delivery of her. And uh, we just wanted to give you one final look of how beautiful these Michelsons are before she leaves and we never see her again. No, just kidding, we'll see her again. <laughs> <laughs> Come check it out. <laughs> All right, guys, we're here in the cockpit. Uh, first feature I wanna show you is a new one to the Generation 2, and this is this door-window combo here. So we've got the cool door, nice and slow, very fancy. It's on a gas shock, so when you're underway and you open it, it's not gonna break or go crazy, anything like that. Show them how cool the new window is. And this fancy what? party trick. Pretty cool, guys. This is really great for um, indoor outdoor dining. You can hand things back and forth through the window, you know, help each other out and yeah. And it's nice cause the window just goes straight down. So you don't have some crazy contraption that folds up and then has to lock up here or something. And then it, underway it could fall down, anything like that. We're keeping it safe and simple. This thing, it just goes away. Pretty cool, pretty cool. What's next? Alrighty, next up we've got Dayhead here. Dayhead is really great uh, to be able to keep your boat clean for all of you fishing, fishing and wife combinations. It's really great to be able to keep all the blood on the deck um, and keep your boat clean and keep your wife happy. Yeah, <laughs> Fourth of July, instead of having a bunch of people walk through the inside of your boat, you can just have them use the Dayhead. Show them this Teak Isle, the tackle center. Aaron's all about the fishing. <laughs> haven't caught a fish yet. <laughs> so this is awesome because you can keep, you know, organize things the way you want, but um, also have a Look lot at of all this. storage options. You got six drawers, you got these two. You can put all your Rapalas, your x straps, all that kind of stuff. And cutting board. Cutting board, huge. <laughs> you don't have to mess up your gel coat. You just grab the t -Kyle cutting board. You can cut bait, you can cut whatever on that. Cut squid up. Don't have to get anything gross or damaged. Alrighty, next we've got outdoor shower here. Um, this is really great just for, you know, right when you get out of the water, you can hose yourself off and be ready to go on your way. Salt water doesn't dry like fresh water, so don't have your kids drag salt water all through your boat. <laughs> and we've also got this table here, which is a really nice feature. Um, again, you can cook on it, clean on it, all sorts of stuff. Heck yeah, you don't have to pull a giant table out of your engine room when you're underway and you need to put something there. It just keeps it safe and simple. Safe and simple. All right. What else? Um, so we've got the stairs here, um, which is really great. I mean, this isn't a new feature, but stairs are a really nice option because you don't feel like you're walking up and down a ladder. You can have uh, food, drinks, dog, anything in your hand. Uh. <laughs> the dog, you got to bring your dog with you. You guys, another feature that we have, people are always like, when are you going to put Zeus drives in a Michelson 50? We don't have to. Glenn Denning came out with this jog system. So it uses a proportional bow thruster, which means that the bow thruster does different RPMs and then just conventional drive and this thing will walk sideways just as well as the Zeus boat will. All right, let's head inside. What do you think? First impressions. <laughs> I love the new lights are really great. Um, also the floor is just stunning. So the new lights are Imtra LED accent lights. They're on a dimmer, so at night you don't have to blind yourself because it is like surgically bright in here. Uh, it's super nice. This runner's awesome. We have a big foam pad underneath it, so it's super cushy on your feet. Show them the... Uh... Boom! Ice machine here. Oh, we even have ice in it. Look at that. And we've also got a nice little... Drawer refrigerator. Here. A lot of our competitors use the drawer refrigerators. We're starting to use them too. And check out what else we have to offer. Full length refrigerator. This is crucial for any long-term trips, but also just, you know, having everything that you want in your refrigerator at all times, so. So you have big, this is like a refrigerator like you have in your house, guys. Big refrigerator, you have the freezer underneath it. We have a microwave convection oven right there for those of you that like to cook. We have the four burner stove top, beautiful granite countertops. All this is storage under here. So all these cabinets, all this stuff is storage under here. Your sink is right here. You just lift these little granite things off. Boom, big sink in there. And again, looking straight up from the galley sink, 
We have our window that lowers down. We can do the alfresco dining, that whole thing. Big LED TV or LED, whatever those TVs are called. Flat screen TVs. A couple of bar stools. And this table is really great because not only can it be your dining room table, but it also cranks down um, and you can put a cushion on it and it turns into a bed. So you can bring your whole family out on the boat if you want. There's a lot of different options for you. Heck yeah. This guy opens up. More storage under here. Under all these seats is also storage. Where's the grab rail? Oh, right here. Oh, and grab that side. Hard doing it one hand with the... Yeah, probably gonna have to cut that part out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's head forward. Let's show them what's next. Okay. So, next off, we have the guest stateroom. Um, I'm sorry, guest bathroom. Um, guest head, come on, we're on head. a boat. Sorry, guest head in here. Um, it's got a full shower, um, a beautiful sink. Is it to the port or to the starboard? to the... Oh gosh, it's to the starboard. Starboard! Come on. <laughs> Real nice. Again, the granite right there. Good looking dude in the video camera on the mirror right there. <laughs> Coming in here, this is where you put your children. So this actually folds up if you don't want to have the bunk right here. Um, big full-size bed. And then again, the storage. So it's I don't know if you guys can see it, but we have all the storage under the bed right there. We have storage on the other side, over there, and all along here. So it's perfect for your for your children, your family of four or ten or however many children you have. <laughs> Alrighty, so we're in the master stateroom here. Um, as you can tell, it's it's got a lot of space. Um, you can definitely be really comfortable in here. There's a lot of closet storage. Um, so you can keep pretty much everything you need in here. And there's a his and a her side, unless you're Sam and Aaron, and then it's a hers and a hers side. <laughs> That's what the day head's for. <laughs> and then the master, of course, has the ensuite head. So again, granite countertops, you pick your countertops, you pick all of your, your faucets and everything. You pick your light fixtures. When you're building a new one of these Michelsons, we let you pick out pretty much every aspect of it. You also have a all the interior, your air conditioning control right there. Um, you got some reading lights up there. You got some good stuff. Some portholes for when it gets hot. Show them the under salon. Let's check it out. This one does not have a sea keeper on it, but there is... Oh, it's one more step up. You gotta lift the second one. Whoa. Whoa. Look at all that storage. And we're live. Alright, we're going in. Whoa. Okay water heater right here uh that is the fecto yacht the custom water purification system right there look how just bone dry this bilge is though so all this that's the cushion for the settee right there but this is where you put your seat keeper in right there so it's already set for it those are the stringers it just literally mounts on and there's a giant hatch i don't know if you guys can see it but there's a hatch above it um so the seat keeper is super easy to put in and then this I don't think that's a side scan sonar, but it is some kind of sonar that they had to cut in. Real nice, got the handle on this. Pull it back down. Of course, the carpet doesn't stay on while I'm making the video, because that would be, that'd be too cool if it did. Again, you have another air conditioning unit out here. Got your mirrors. Oh, show them the, the overhead rod locker storage. We got all kinds of storage up here. What? It even has a light in it? Tight. Uh, yeah. Because yeah. you don't want to stare at your rods the whole time. Like, I know the guys do, but <laughs> Aaron doesn't want to look at the fishing rods. No, she does. Oh, another thing. So, the Gen 2 look. I'm going to pan to selfie mode. Here we go. Hey guys, so the Gen 2 look, from the outside of it, we made like a sleeker window design. We really like how the new windows turned out. Um, but a lot of people were like, oh, you can't open the windows anymore. Yes, you can, you can still open the windows. So what we did is we put a window inside of a window. I call it windowception. 
So this guy still opens up right here and I'll show you what it looks like from the outside right now as well. So we're gonna walk outside right now. And for those of you wondering what the new Gen 2 windows look like, I'm turning the camera around. That's what they look like. So that's the 43 right there, but pretty much what we did is we took the louvers out of the vent, just made that one solid piece of fiberglass and then we rounded this off right there. Um, looks really nice. So back on the 50, this is all one piece of glass right here. And then I don't know, okay, yeah, you can tell. So from like 10 feet away, you can't tell, but up close and personal, you can tell. But this is the part of the window that actually slides open right here. So really nice feature. You can still get the wind or airflow through there. Another nice feature, boom, this safety rail right here, it's like an inch and a half thick. As we're walking down it, you'll notice this little notch right here. You're thinking, Aaron, what is that for? So this telescopes out right here and then turns into a sunshade that protects. You didn't even know that? Look, Aaron's learning things. I think I do that. Rocket launchers for when you want to launch your rockets. Let's show them upstairs. Let's do it. Again, the stairs going up. What do you think? Beautiful. You think this guy likes to fish? <laughs> how many so. how many garments does he have on here? <laughs> Jeez. Four 17 gar 17 inch Garmin displays. New infinity flooring, which looks awesome. It's a it's like a plastic material, so you spill like red wine on it. You can just hose it down. Just has uh, snaps in the corners of it, so it just pops right back up. Isotherm, big refrigerator up here again. Really nice. You can put beverages up here. You don't have to go downstairs to get them. You got two VHFs. You have this other one for all you fancy fishermen that don't want to broadcast your fish dope on channel 16. You can do it on whatever that one's called. I forget. Paul knows what it's called. Um, autopilot. Again, these are all touchscreen. And the new things are here. Aaron pulling off so that people can see. They're cool. They're on magnets. Like an iPad. Yeah. So it's just like a magnetic thing. And then they're all touch screen. So let's see. Snap it back on. You. Yeah. Easy peasy. Looking good. Looking good. Um, and then again, this is a conventional drive boat, meaning it has shafts and a propeller. But you still have the joystick. And it's possible because of wow, the proportional bow thruster. So most bow thrusters are one speed. It's either on or it's off. This one, I'll show you. You can put it at different degrees, and the different degrees give you a different RPM. So pretty cool. Um, you have a sink up here. This is perfect radius for a water balloon right there. So if you ever were going to fill up water balloons, it's perfect. Sound like you've done it before. <laughs> what up? With these beautiful stid chairs, you got to have stid chairs. Uh, with speakers up here. Again, this goes down in a, a bed. What else we have? Show them the joystick up here. All right, and then we've got a joystick up here too. Um, this allows for you to back down on the bench, do whatever you want. Again, you can drive from there, there, or downstairs. So whatever sort of situation you're in, you should be able to control your boat pretty easy. Joystick. All right, take them upstairs. They want to see you jump off. Do a flip. That's okay. I'm just joking. We don't need to go up there. On this particular one, they didn't <laughs> they didn't put a tower or anything up there. Uh, but you do have this really nice access going up right here through the hatch. Uh, it's just for and I'm gonna flip around. It's for like your boat washer, anybody that needs to do maintenance on your radar or anything like that. Or if you want a super cool view. Yeah, your kids are gonna <laughs> want to jump off the top for sure. That's still my favorite thing to do. All right, what do you think? Let's walk into the bow? Yeah. Okay, we're going to the bow. Again, safety, big railing, big walkway going up. Give us a Titanic. The Titanic send-off. Oh, looks great. 
So we got our dinghy up here, got our davit. And for all you sun tanners or readers, this is a great place to be. Definitely taking an Instagram photo or two up here. <laughs> <laughs> We're up on the brow right there. Uh, this particular one also has a FLIR camera. FLIR camera, I don't know how it's pronounced, but those things are pretty sweet. They've definitely saved my butt a time or two uh, bringing boats up from Cabo and stuff like that. What else do you want to show them? Um, how about give us a cool send off like on the bow? Aaron, this is Aaron from Michael Signots. This is Aaron from Michelson Yachts, and you're watching Disney Channel. <laughs> <laughs> Cut that. Um, <laughs> thanks, you guys, for joining us today on this beautiful, brand new Michelson 50 Generation 2. Um, comment any sort of questions below um, and give us a shout out. Is that good? Did I do good? Oh, I thought that was pretty good. <laughs> subscribe subscribe thank you guys for watching <laughs> thank you for supporting us we'll be making way more of these videos give us suggestions yeah. tell us what you want to see yeah tell us what you want to see we're happy to make videos on anything um, less of me no i'm kidding more of aaron <laughs> more of aaron all right hand one more feature that we forgot to point out we put little cameras all over the boat it's pretty cool so with the new technology we put a little stopper in on your transom door. So you open your transom door. As soon as somebody opens it, you get a text to your cell phone alerting you that someone has opened your transom door. Then you can go on your phone, look at the live feed camera that I just showed you, see who's on your boat. So you can spy on your boat washers, anything like that. But it's a really cool feature, especially if you have little kids when you're underway and stuff like that, you have cameras all over your boat. So you're up driving the boat, being responsible, and you're also watching your kids that are downstairs uh, watching a movie or anything like that. So. And also, if you're somebody that likes to be a weekend warrior and you want to leave your boat down in Cabo, you know, you can always take to look and see what's going on on your boat down there um, so it's really gives you a lot of security that's a good point thank you <laughs> <laughs> all right guys thanks for watching uh don't forget to subscribe comment and tell us how silly we are on the video <laughs> all right thank you guys